damn it! I want to review this guy! Oh, I've been having this thing for damn near a year, but I don't want to buy Cap Wolf to get the cape thing. Well, maybe I'll just review it like this. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to buy Cap Wolf. What, what the? What is this? Let's get it, T-Man. Oh, let's get it indeed, T-Man. Thank you, Mikey. It better be what I think it is. It better be what I think it is. Let's find out. Now we can be complete. You know what this means. T-Man978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man978, reviewing Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Red Skull, who people like to call Red Onslaught, or when you finally buy Kitty Pride, you can just call him Build-A-Figure Onslaught, and I can't wait to pop this head back off of him so I can get to that. Thank you so much, Mikey from Mikey's Action Figures, for helping me finish this guy so I can finally get this review out there and see what he looks like fully completed here he is from the back was it worth the wait <laughs> I don't know this cape is just flat it's like a big purple leaf I thought it would be like a little bit more than this but it's just a flat leaf and the way it connects with just that peg, not even like a ball joint or nothing. Yeah. It was less exciting than I thought when I finally did connect this. But I'm happy to own it. Thank you, Mikey. If you're not subscribed to him, subscribe. I'm going to have his link in the description. Here's some good content. Some great reviews. And I definitely like his like his info videos where he's giving out like Marvel Legend news and whatnot or other action figure news. But anyway, this is an awesome looking figure. This head is painted well. There's the eyes, all the teeth are painted. It's weird seeing him with this grin, but I guess when you don't have lips, you're always grinning. But Man, those eyes are really, really nice. And there's some black wash effect in there. But let's pop that off. Unfortunately, my onslaught head has purple paint there. Until I started doing this review, I thought that was black, like a scuff. So maybe I can wash that off some way. But, like, before I put it on camera, I had no clue that that was just misplaced purple paint. This head fits on better. It's way easier to maneuver it and everything. It can look up better. And it has the slightest bit of pivot or tilt. But one of the things I really like about this dude, just like Hulkbuster, he has an awesome diaphragm joint. I can bend back like that far. Maybe a little bit more without the cape on, but it can bend forward a lot and definitely pivot side to side. These shoulder pads, they're posable on the little hinges you connect it to, to him by. But they do stop his motion from going any higher than that. And you can pop them off very easily. So let's put that back down. Single jointed elbows, but... He does have rotation at the elbow. And these cuff things right here do rotate and get into whatever angle. If you want it back that way, instead of right here, you can do that. Hands go in and out. They rotate, of course. I don't like that this fist is in a gripping pose right there. I wish it was either completely shut so he can punch or it was open like this i love two dynamic hands i definitely like that when they put that on there like symbiote type creatures or characters the legs are capable of kicking up 
if you're persistent, you can even make it even higher. But watch out because, like right here on mine, it does get a little bit chewed up if you're a little rough with it. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees that are spectacular. Really awesome for a character this big. Feet can kick back that much for a nice flying pose right there. And it can kick forward. You can kind of get it around those ripples. And he has definitely has super duper ankle pivot. So I really like this guy. And now that I put him in this pose by accident, he looks really cool. And maybe I wish I had like a flight stand. I need to invest in some stands. I always talk about that all the time. Since I'm super late, I get to compare him to people that nobody else compared him to in their video. <laughs> Any old way. I like him. I like him. He's cool. He's awesome. I love the purples. I love the maroon or whatever you want to call this. He does have like black wash on different parts of the body. But then other parts like his main body is just plain. Well, it, it does have it there, so... Eh, they tried, they tried. What you gonna do? You, you know how Hasbro does. Where they can cut corners, they're gonna cut them, but they try and try to give us the best product they can on their limited budget. Whether they purposely limit it or not. But that's not for me to judge. But anyway, this thing is cool. I just like the way it's designed, and I definitely love that diaphragm joint. It's awesome. If you love this video, let me know by liking the video. Let me know by subscribing. Let me know by sharing it. Watch whatever videos are popping up right now. And until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.